Now, Cara, I, um, I, I think I'm right in saying that maths is not your favourite subject. It's not it's my favourite. Um, and in particular, you don't particularly like doing fractions. Fractions, or oh, why fractions? Because you find fractions boring. And we do it 24-7 in class. And you do it 24-7 in class. So I'm not going to I'm not going to ask you a question about fractions. I'll breathe. You'll, you'll, you'll be happy to know that I'm not going to ask you about fractions. But I do want to ask you something that's sort of mathsy. Uh, so and the question is this. Um, is there is there a biggest number? Um, no. There isn't. There isn't. Infinity. They People may say it's a number, but infinity isn't a number. It's kind of a load of numbers that don't have names for the numbers. Like, they go so high, people just think, well, I can't think of a name for this, so I'm just going to call all the, these numbers and above infinity. Okay, so infinity is not really a number? Mm. So if somebody said, yeah, there's a biggest number and the biggest number is infinity, you'd say, no, it's not a number. But it's a sort of, so can you say again, it's a sort of it's a a sort label? Of for, for, yeah, label for just kind of numbers that, there's so many numbers mm -hmm. that go on forever and ever. People will keep naming them forever and ever and ever until the end of man. Right. And woman. And right, right. But then all the numbers wouldn't be able to be named. So they've named all those numbers above yeah. infinity. It stops people in front, instead of studying normal things like, um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but math and yeah. literacy. Yeah. Um, it stops them studying all those and they're just stuck in class thinking about what names they can make till they've run out of letters, run out of words. Right. So they just named it infinity. Right. So are you saying that the word infinity doesn't really mean anything or, or does it? It just means like the numbers that can't be numbered. Right. Okay. I mean, sometimes people use the word infinity when they're not talking about numbers. So, I mean, sometimes people say space is infinite or time is infinite. Mm. What do you think that means? Um, space is infinite. It means like it never ends. Mm. And, um, and the same with time, if they said time was infinite? Well, unless you count, if you count a whole day as time. Because let's say a day is only... Um, the awake time of the day, 12 hours, sleep, 12. Right. Um, merge them together, 24. So yeah. 24 is not infinite. No. So, but if you count all the days, even the ones where you're not alive, yeah. and the ones before, um, then that's kind of infinite, unless um, the world explodes and it comes to an end. Yeah. But if there was life on other planets, they'd be, still be having time. So it gets a bit confusing. It does, doesn't it? It does. Um... D uh, do you? I I don't know whether you have a view about this. Do you think? Do you think the the world will carry on forever? Um, I don't think so. If we keep treating it like this. Ah, okay. So when I said world, uh, you thought about planet Earth, presumably, did you? And you you're worried that if we keep treating planet Earth the way we are, it might not survive forever. Mm. You think we're you think we're messing planet Earth up, do mm. you? Yeah, I can see that. I don't but, just think it; I know it. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm in, I'm in agreement with you about that. Um, but um, but if it's not just planet Earth that we're thinking about, I mean, you you said earlier, you know, maybe there's other uh, planets out there, um, and and maybe there are creatures on those other planets that are much more sensible than we are and they're not messing up there. Imagine it. <laughs> um, as, 
Do you, do you think there's a chance that something will carry on forever, even if... Something definitely will, because yeah. even if there aren't people to look at it and study it, all the other planets, unless someone can shoot out a gun that, um, that goes infinite and just destroys planets one by one um, and forever, mm. but it destroys every single planet at once, like, if there was a line, let's say, like, millions and millions and thousands and thousands of infinity miles away, <laughs> there's this line, mm. there's planets inside it, but outside it's just nothing, just black. Mm. It's still space, right. because there's still stars, but it's just black. Hold on, stars? It won't be completely black if there are stars there. Yeah, I know, but... Fading stars. Okay. Like okay. the inside of a black hole. Right. I think. Um, but if the inside of a black hole mm. is just black with um, dead stars in it, then that would be exactly what it would be like. Okay. All, poor, um, all um, black holes teleported everything that goes in it there. Suppose you were uh, walking down the street um, and you see somebody coming in the opposite direction and uh, they're, they're mumbling to themselves and they're definitely mumbling to themselves. They're not, they're not um, you know, they haven't got headphones in speaking to somebody on the phone. They're mumbling to themselves and when you get close enough to them to be able to overhear what they're saying you discover that what they're saying is um, four three two one and you think gosh this is a bit weird so you're so overcome by curiosity this is a complete stranger but you're so overcome by curiosity you say to this person why are you why are you saying this why have you been mumbling this and this um man says to you well um believe it or not i have just finished counting all the numbers backwards if you'd been there much earlier you'd have heard me going a thousand and four a thousand and three, a thousand and two. Um, and, you know, backwards even further. So you say to this person, gosh, well, when did you start doing this? And he says, well, I never started because there's no biggest number. You can't start. You, sa you said earlier, there's no biggest number. Is, I've always been doing it. I've just, I've just finished, but I've always been doing it. You can't always be doing it. Does that make because sense? Because what would he even start at? Because infinity, I get that he could just sit out by saying infinity. Yeah. What comes after infinity? Exactly. 100, a million, no. million and, and 99. No, no, there's nothing that comes next, is there? But, but that would only be a problem if he started with infinity, okay? But he tells you that he never started. He tells you he's infinitely old and he's been around <laughs> for an infinite amount of time. How can someone be around that long? Is he a vampire? He's not a, he's not a normal human being. Oh, phew. I'm not sure that he's a vampire either, to oh. be honest with you. Oh. He's some extraordinary creature who happens to speak English and who happens to be walking along the high street. It, going in the opposite direction to you. This is a very fanciful story, I agree. But what I'm interested to know is, does it? do you think it makes sense? Mm, it kind of makes sense, and it kind of 
kind of doesn't. It's like a word trick. I never yeah. actually started. Right. Well, that would make sense, but you, when you think about it, you never actually started. Well, how did you end? If you didn't start, then you can't end. Well, is that no, that's interesting? Is that true? If you didn't start, you can't end. It's like a marathon, just a really tricky one that goes on for thirty times a normal marathon. You've run in it and you've started it. Yeah. You won't get to the end if you never started it. Well, um, could you? Well, let me ask you this question. Suppose it's not counting backwards. Supposing it's counting forwards. So you start one, two, three, four, and just carry on forever. Now, that. That will never end, do you think? Mm. That will never end. Yeah. So you've got something that starts but never ends. Yeah, you're just at the end. Mm. If you did manage to survive until infinity, you'd just be going infinity, 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 over and over. But but you, I think you made the point earlier. You're never actually going to get there, are you? Because yeah. there's no biggest number. So you're never you're never going to end if you're counting forwards. You begin, but you never end. Now, why not the other way round? You end, but you never begin. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was very confusing. It is very confusing, isn't it? Should I put the question again? <laughs> so, the, the guy that's counting <laughs> forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, he, he begins but never ends because there's no biggest number mm -hmm. and that is going on into the future endlessly into the future now why not the same thing in the opposite direction endlessly into the past well the thing about start and end mm. is one is stated to be the start of things so it doesn't matter if you um, did a marathon backwards right you'll be starting it at some right point, still ending it at some right point. but a marathon has a beginning and an end doesn't it, it yeah but you can't always start at the exact right one so let's say i'm this dumb boy called leo right um, i'm walking i'm doing a marathon i'm nearly there and then i see everyone crouched at the finish line i'm like how slow am I? Because this Leo guy is really dumb, but is, he's also very, very fast. Is Leo a real guy? Um, no, I don't know anyone you, called Leo. Right, you're making him up. Yeah. He's not so fat that you could push him off yeah. the bridge, is yeah. he? His full name is Leonardo da Vinci. He's uh -huh. not the famous guy. Okay. He's a copycat. Okay. <laughs> and he's running now. Yeah. He, um, he looks behind him. There's no one behind him. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he had jetpacks on. Right. He was going at 100 miles per hour. So he knows no one could have beaten him. But then all these people start running towards him. And he's like, oh, no. I went the wrong way. But he still got to the end. Right. And if even if the start was the end and the end was the start, yes. it's still start to end. So his 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 start is everybody else's end, maybe. But still he starts and still he and he ends as well. Yes, I agree. But with infinity it's a bit different, isn't it? Mm. Confusing, isn't it? Mm. Much. I think my head's about to explode. My head has long since exploded, I tell you. <laughs>